What's going on ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I'm Trey Loke, back to a brand new video guys. Today we're going to be talking about the rise and fall of PUBG in 3 minutes. Let's get into it. PUBG came out back in December of 2017. It was created by a guy named Brendan Green who previously created a battle royale mod on Arma 3 that PUBG would later be based on. PUBG boomed at the beginning of its time, breaking tons of records on Steam. In fact, it still holds the most active players on Steam ever at a time with over 3.2 million active players. Shit was nuts, the PUBG craze was like nothing we've ever seen before. This random shitty third person game changed how we saw gaming. Once PUBG started getting streamer support, it was over. Huge streaming celebrities were created because of the hype with Battle Royale and PUBG set that all in motion. The game was so unbelievably successful even the developers were blown away. PUBG sat on the throne of success for a good amount of time with nothing really even coming close. Until... <laughs> You know what came around. Fortnite, everyone's favorite battle royale. Fortnite was basically PUBG, but I'd say around 10 times bigger. With mass media reporting on the game, celebrities playing and getting involved, Fortnite took the world's front stage as THE game to play. However, don't sleep on PUBG, okay, because it was still holding its head high. It had consistent numbers during Fortnite's early reign. However, it was clear that the player base was fading and starting to transfer to Fortnite's hype. Fortnite was PUBG's only competition for a couple years, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, PUBG was falling behind. Minimal updates, bugs that were never being fixed from launch, janky mechanics that were rooted into the engine, optimization that was still affecting people with high-end computers. People saw PUBG as the shitty antique car in your garage that was just collecting dust in your Steam library. Everything was getting better around PUBG, except PUBG itself. After only a few years, PUBG would get shit on even harder. In 2020, Apex Legends would launch, and not too far after, Warzone, COD's Battle Royale. This created a lot of competition for PUBG. These other games slowly dug PUBG's grave as players began to disperse to these other battle royale games. In 2020, PUBG saw its lowest numbers for player count ever. Naturally, PUBG began to lose its consistent player base as the game remained unchanged for years. It was looking like PUBG was a GG until they started making some power moves to come back. They started adding new maps that weren't big. This brought in lots of people that were fans of the fast-paced combat that battle royale had to offer but didn't want to wait the entire match to do it. The optimization for the game was tackled by the development team and almost completely fixed. The game runs smoothly now. Parachuting mechanics were revamped. New weapons and gear slash equipment brought people back to the game as the developers did a good job maintaining balance with everything they added. They revamped their entire main menu page, adding stats, weapon prestiging, and a whole new layer of progression for people to work at. Updates began to be incredibly consistent in PUBG, and in 2022, the game is still kicking ass. Despite most of PUBG's player base being in Asia, mostly China, regardless, the game has managed to survive despite despite not changing a ton from when it first started, which is pretty impressive. I don't find it a ton of fun, but I do understand that it definitely deserves to still have a player base. And that is the rise and fall and rise again of PUBG. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. If you enjoyed even more, make sure to join the Discord down below. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.